Hi boys and girls, thank you for joining today. Our goal in this video is to tell time to the hour using an analog or a digital clock. Then by so first let's do a recap. I have my clock here and this one is an analog clock. The analog clock has two hands, a short hand and a long hand. The short hand is called the hour hand and that tells us what hour we are in. The long hand is called the minute hand and it tells us the minute. In this case, the red hand is the hour hand and the blue hand is the minute hand. Right now, my clock is showing me that it is nine o'clock because my hour hand is pointing to the nine and my minute hand is pointing to the 12 or straight up. When the minute hand is pointing straight up or to the 12, that means that it is zero minutes past the hour, or we would read this as nine o'clock. Now let's remember, there are 60 minutes in one hour, 60 whole minutes in just one hour. So what that means is that the minute hand goes around the clock one entire time before the hour hand moves to the next number. Each tick on the clock, these little ticks right here, represent one minute. So there are 60 little ticks around the entire clock. Every clock has hands that move in the exact same direction. And that direction is called clockwise. Clockwise means that we are moving in the way that the numbers are getting bigger. So right now I'm on the one, I move down to the two, to the three, to the four, and this direction is called clockwise. And it will always be the same exact direction. Because I moved my minute hand around the entire clock, my hour hand has moved up a number. Instead of being nine o'clock, my clock is now showing that it is 10 o'clock. Don't be confused, that wasn't a whole hour. I can manipulate this clock as quickly as I would like. So that wasn't a whole hour, but that shows you that when the minute hand goes around one complete time in the clockwise direction, the hour will change to the next hour. <clears throat> Like we just said, this analog clock is showing that it is 10 o'clock because the hour hand is pointing to the 10 and the minute hand is pointing straight up or to the 12. Now that means that it is zero minutes past 10 o'clock. Now if I wanted to write the time 10 o'clock, it would look a little bit like this, but there's more than one way that I can write it. I can also write it as a digital time, and that is going to look like this. This is what it looks like to write the digital time. These two dots in the middle of my numbers, they are called a colon. The colon separates the two numbers, or what the hour hand tells us and what the minute hand tells us. The number before the colon tells us the hour, so before the colon, I write the number 10. The number after the colon tells us the minutes that have passed. When it's 10 o'clock, that means that there have been zero minutes past 10 o'clock. So I write my number zero two times. Whenever I see two zeros following my colon, that means it is exactly 10 o'clock. Now let's try a few examples. If you would like to do it along with me, grab a paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and eraser if you have one and join in. I am going to show you the analog clock for a few seconds and we are going to write the digital time. I'm going to start by writing my colon so that I know to separate the two numbers. The number before the colon tells us the hour. The hour hand on that clock was pointing to the two. So I know that we are in the two o'clock hour.
the minute hand was pointing straight up or to the 12. That means it is exactly two o'clock. Let's try another. In that example, the shorthand or the hour hand was pointing directly to the seven. So before my colon, I know that is telling me the hour we are in. So I'll write my seven. And then once again, the minute hand was pointing straight up or directly to the 12. So I know that it is exactly seven o'clock. Or zero minutes past seven o'clock. Now I know that last one was a little bit tricky because you could probably only see the minute hand or the long hand and you couldn't see the hour hand. That's because the hour hand was hiding behind the minute hand and they were both pointing directly up to the 12. The number that comes before the colon tells us the hour we are in. So if my hour hand was pointing directly up to the 12, that means we are in the 12th hour. And just like in our other examples, the minute hand was pointing directly up or to the 12, which means there have been zero minutes past 12 o'clock or it is exactly 12 o'clock. So I write my two zeros. It is 12 o'clock. Thank you for watching. Keep practicing and don't forget to wash your hands.